Hello, me again. Are there things you've been wanting to accomplish in your life that you haven't and you're an adult? I'm not talking to children per se right now. I'm speaking to adults. Why haven't you done them? What's holding you back? Today, I want to talk about taking responsibility for your life, for your actions. Don't go blaming anyone else. It's not your parents' fault. It's not your teacher's fault. It's not your sibling's fault. It's not the man... Uh, next door's fault, the woman next door's fault. It's your own fault if you've not achieved what it is you've been wanting to achieve or accomplish. If you've grown up in a broken home, if you've grown up in a situation that is not the best, now that you're an adult, now that you've come to the point of accountability, what are you doing to change it? Let me tell you a little about myself. I grew up in a home that was polygamous. My father was married to four wives. Three of them had children. I was left with my stepmom and she brought me up. But praise God, she was a God-fearing woman. She didn't know Jesus. She's alive now. But at the time, she didn't know Jesus, but she brought me up as her own. And my father wasn't always around because he was traveling for business and also to look after the families he had here in the UK and over back in Nigeria, where I come from. So that was the situation I grew up with. He died when I was 11. Before then, we had a life of of what would I say, abundance? I didn't lack for anything as far as I knew. And I was very aware as a child because even when I was three, I have memories of things that happened to me at three. And they were great things, good things. Well, I did have an incident that landed me in the hospital, but that was me as a child. But anyway, I my father died and everything plummeted. We had no means of income coming in. I said he was a businessman. Well, that's what we called it in those days. He was bringing in money. He was feeding his families. But after he died, everything dried up. So technically, he was self-employed. Now, if you want your life to be transformed, you need to look at multiple streams of income. But that's a different uh, story. Look at my YouTube channel, subscribe to it, and you'll find out about multiple um, means of income. But right now we're talking about taking personal responsibility. He died when I was 11. And when he died, I remember at 13, this is years later, myself and my sister, one of my older sisters, who was also born again at this time, we had become Christians, praying, asking God for the next meal, where it will come from. And I'm talking about one meal a day. And we were believing and trusting God and God always showed up. Well, the choice I had then was, oh, um, I was already 13. And probably to some people already becoming a bit of a looker. I could have decided to go off with anybody because it was rife then and it's still rife now. Sugar daddies, people who, who are much older than you, um, spending their money on you and your family uh, while they have their way with you so that uh, you and they can both get what you want. But my choice, my decision was to turn to the Lord. And long before I knew about Jesus at 13... I knew that there was a God. I went to a school that wasn't necessarily a Christian school, but when they sang some hymns, I heard of this person who died on the cross, who had such great love that took him there. And although it didn't mean a lot to me, it touched my heart. And it seemed to govern the way I behaved and thought because up until the age of 13, I can to look back and see there were times that God had been with me, taking me through things. Not at times, he was always with me, but there were times I was aware of his presence, but I didn't know at the time it was his presence and him helping me. So I made a decision at 13, instead of going off with a sugar daddy or looking for someone at 15 and 16, because the hard times continued well into my teenage years. I remember there were girls all around me at church 
where I was attending Church of God Mission. Maybe if you attended Church of God Mission in the 80s, uh, the headquarters in GRA, um, I think it was one Adesua, you would be able to verify this. There were girls around me, probably prettier than I was, who, or maybe not as pretty as I was, but they could dress to the nines. And some of them were working, some of them had rich parents, and uh, maybe some of them were probably getting money, I don't know how, or in a way that was unscrupulous. But the thing is, they were looking good. And I've come to choir rehearsals, come to church on Sunday in this posh, wonderful environment, looking like something the cat dragged in sometimes but the thing is I had a choice and my choice was I am going to keep myself pure I may not have money but what I do have is precious so this is what I'm talking about in regards to choices you have a choice you're brought up in a situation that is not the best you want money there are ways and means to get money legally please make the choice to do things legally where you're working in a job you feel it's a dead-end job you you want a better life for yourself and family you're a father now or you're a mother what are you doing to make things different why don't you take personal responsibility the fact that you're in financial straight it's not your boss's fault it's not your colleagues at work's fault you can decide to have multiple streams of income I know not everyone is inclined to go into business like I am but a lot of people can have multiple streams of income there are ways and means subscribe to my channel and see if you could be a distributor for organo gold for instance you could decide to take charge of the um, um, tea fund at work and make sure you are signed up as a distributor and start supplying tea and coffee to all those people at work who are drinking gallons and gallons of it. You could decide to go to HR with the concept and tell them, why don't we supply you with organo gold, supply the workers with organo gold beverages and we can profit both myself and the company. This is forward thinking and this is what will get you promoted and get you more money. So why don't you take responsibility whatever it is in your marriage you chose to marry that man that woman why don't you take responsibility and act as a wife and husband should if you're a parent you chose to have that child unless you were raped raped then you chose to keep hold of that child you could have given the child up for adoption. If the child is with you, if you're raising a child, raise the child, protect the child, keep the child safe. If you're married, love your spouse, love your wife. The Bible says, as Christ loved the church. If you're a wife, the Bible says, submit to your husband. If you wanted to be the head and the one in charge, you should have stayed unmarried. This is simple really but with God's help we can do these things take personal responsibility for your life I may not have covered your area but hopefully you get the gist whatever it is you're going through whatever situation and circumstance you are in today take personal responsibility you may have gotten yourself in it if it was something not of your doing like I mentioned a little bit of my background it wasn't of my doing I had choices I made the right one by the grace of God you can also make the right ones too. Take care. I'm not talking about being perfect here. I've fallen on my face so many times. Some things I don't even care to share it in the public, but I've trusted God. I've taken personal responsibility. You please take personal responsibility for your life. And if you're a parent, please take responsibility for your children. Raise them well, raise them right, and, and do what you can legally and lawfully to to make money, to bring bread to the table. As I said, I've mentioned organo gold. People are drinking coffee everywhere. It's Starbucks and McDonald's can make money from coffee, selling coffee, millions and millions. It's a trillion dollar industry, I understand. Why don't you go supply it, uh, make the concept available to your place of work? Look, we're drinking this stuff all the time. Why don't we make money every time we enjoy a cup? So that's just one example. You may not choose to do that. Whatever it is you choose to do, please understand. Take personal responsibility and look after yourself and your young ones. Take care. I hope this has been useful to you. Spread the word. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.